from 2015. The Gallipoli Club had a function from Sydney Institute where Professor Anne Tiernan spoke on her research into Prime Minister Chiefs of Staff. Fascinating research with powerful implications, but one known issue is the loss of institutional knowledge because of public service no longer provides the Chief of Staff. Impartiality is loss, but also the knowledge of how to deal with crises and routines that aren't crises but appear like them. Problem is, why would either major party ever choose a public servant when the public service is so clearly partisan? The Liberal Party would not want the disloyalty. The ALP would not know which faction the public servant supported. In New South Wales, were the judiciary fair and impartial, then Nick Greiner would probably still be New South Wales Premier and the Summer Olympics would still be part of the state roster every four years. Rural New South Wales would have plenty of fresh water and several inland rural towns would be cities rivaling Canberra in size. The Peter Credlin issue was not part of the research, but Credlin had well served Turnbull previously, and her only fault was being in the way this time. But an, an academic can't say that, but the audience could. What happened to Abbott was not the same as what happened to Gillard or Rudd. It wasn't the problem of the chiefs of staff. Malcolm had to be prevented from further undermining the party. For some, at the moment, the sex party has more credibility.